ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Christopher Daniels, former Ring of Honor world champion, one of Brian Danielson's longest rivals throughout his career. Yeah, Chris Daniels, one of the better tacticians you're ever going to find in any generation of professional wrestling. And uh, as MJF said, you know, knows the American Dragon very well. And, and Danielson and Christopher Daniels, I mean, they really defined that early era of Ring of Honor wrestling with their, their highly intense, highly technical battles. Okay, okay. Chris, do me a favor and tell these people the truth about Brian Danielson inside the squared circle. The truth. Okay, okay, the truth. Full disclosure, Laredo. MJF paid me an obscene amount of money tonight to denigrate Brian Danielson on national television. Uh huh. <laughs> and Max. There was a time in my life where I would happily take in this money and come out here and bury Brian Danielson with you for hours. But that's not the man I am today, Max. And if you want the truth, the truth is, Brian Danielson is set to knock your dick in the dirt. All righty then. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty graphic. You see, Max, I remember the first time I was in a ring with Brian Danielson. 20-year-old Brian Danielson hit me so hard, I thought I would die in the middle of that ring that night, and that's when I knew that Brian Danielson was going to be great. I watched Brian Danielson win the King of the Indies tournament in APW in 2001. And that tournament directly inspired the creation of Ring of Honor Wrestling as a promotion. And Ring of Honor Wrestling brought real professional wrestling to a fan base that was starved for it at the time. The same type of fans that were ecstatic when All Elite Wrestling opened four years ago. So you see, if there wasn't a Ring of Honor, there might not be an AEW, and there definitely wouldn't be an MJF. Well, that about sums it up, don't you think? Now, Max, I've shared locker rooms with Brian Danielson all over this planet, and I watched him wrestle as many matches as he could handle, because everything he wanted to do, he was a sponge about professional wrestling. He wanted to learn everything he could about pro wrestling. He tried to learn one new thing every match he ever had. And I watched him do it over and over and over and over until I watched him become a world champion. Max, he knows what it takes to be a world champion. He's on the path to becoming world champion one more time. And that's why these people love him, and that's why you hate him, Max. And it's not just because he's about to take the one thing from you that you love more than anything else. It's because he is exactly what you wish you could be. He is the best wrestler in the world today. Not you. You're just a fraud. Woo. And he's going to out-wrestle you and expose you. Oh, now, yeah. You see the true colors of MJF. I'm the best in the world. I don't think you are. I don't think you are, son of a bitch. I don't think you are. I don't think you're going to get a chance to prove it either. I don't think you're going to get an answer to Let's hear it for CD for being a stand-up guy. You don't walk away from me! <laughs> oh, damn! He broke his jaw. Shot. Oh! Good God. And now, look at the, the 
the salt of the earth, the arm bar. That's why MJF wanted Brian Danielson's shoulder compromised. That's why he wanted him injured, headed into revolution. Let's snap that off, but then that, I think that, that, that Danielson's out here. And that's why MJF is burning rubber, fleeing, getting out of Laredo the fast, as fast as he can because the American Dragon Brian Danielson has hit the ring. Can't pay off everybody. Buddy, revolution is coming up Sunday, March 5th. Well, Sunday, March 5th, the main event for the AEW World Championship, the 60-minute Iron Man match.